So joining me in studio is the Mara a member of parliament and also the chairperson of the environment committee in parliament still is Kareke 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 Mbuki. <laughs> Thanks for making time for us, sir. Thank you. And we've seen a lot of initiatives from the government lately. You've, you've banned logging. Now we are seeing certain counties banning, charcoal burning. W what alternatives are we giving the people? Because then there's the issue of the people will just try and sneak behind and do the same things that they've been doing. Well, uh, we need to really appreciate that uh, the country is currently facing a very serious environmental challenges. Yes. And uh, as parliamentarians, we came up with the uh, with the notion that uh, we really need to be the champions yeah. in terms of environmental conservation, and that's why we called for a total ban mm. uh, in issues to do with logging. Yeah. And we really want to thank government because after that, mm -hmm. it's when the deputy president. Uh, came up with the moratorium, yeah. uh, 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 which praised the logging mm -hmm. for three months. It's out of that particular thing that uh, currently we, uh, there is a tax force yeah. which has also been formed yeah. to ensure that all the issues to do with the environmental degradation are properly uh, articulated. Yeah. This tax force will be launched tomorrow by the deputy president and it has been given a maximum of one month yeah. to ensure that it comes up with tangible solutions to the issues of uh, environmental degradation yeah. as well as uh, uh, conservation of our water towers. Two questions. Is 90 days enough? So what if the task force finds out that the forest cover is, is worse than they believed it was? You, you see, the most important thing yeah. is, first of all, for us to have an audit. Yeah. An audit in terms of the extent of the damage which has been done. Mm -hmm. And then from there, they'll be able to make some recommendations to government. Once the recommendations have been done, they'll be tabled in the in parliament for adoption. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, we need to have a win-win situation. We need to have the support of both the executive and, uh, and parliament so that you can be able to win this, uh, this war. Yeah. But the most important thing is that uh, we really need to protect our water towers. And the current goodwill which we are currently witnessing yeah. in the in government, it had not been there before, because we have seen these uh, issues of uh, conservation yeah. uh, being spearheaded by none other than the deputy president. Because at the end of the day, it is multifaceted uh, tax, yeah. because it involves matters to do with water, matters to do with the environment and forestry, matters of land, agriculture. Uh, matters of security and hence we felt that uh, for us to really to be able to achieve much because we also need to appreciate that in government yeah. we normally have a lot of bureaucracy yes. and for us to have a proper coordination in uh, environmental conservation and management this thing need really to be uh, added yeah. And by the deputy president. Talking about implementation, research also shows that uh, currently we have one officer to about a thousand hectares of land. Yes. How, how is it practical for one person to man that kind of level of the vastness of the land? Because then you would say that that's the main reason why even cutting down trees still happens, even if it's bad. Actually, we really need to look at the, 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 main, the main task of the tax force. Yes. It's really to do the audit. Look at the KFS. The workforce of the KFS, uh, Kenya Forest Service, yeah. uh, 10 years down the road, it is, right now it's more or less than a quarter than what it used to be. You look at the entire Mount Kenya region, the, the, the personnel yeah. who were involved in forest conservation, uh, less than 100. So, so when we're looking at these, uh, uh, the tax force, yeah. we, although I don't really want to preempt what to come up with, they also need to look at the workforce mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, Kenya Water Towers, in terms of KFS. The other issue is that we need to look at the resources. What sort of resources do we really need for the conservation? Yeah. Because the last time uh, KFS recruited even the forest wardens, it is almost two, three years ago. And many of them have really been retiring. So we really need to look at the personnel, yeah. the capacity uh, in terms of uh, an enforcement. Yeah. Because m m more, more often, like, like now we understand there's a ban. Yes. Okay, or there is this moratorium which has been in place for three months. But really to expect a very thin workforce to enforce this particular ban is also a very big challenge. And these are some of the things which we have given to professionals. It is not KFS who is doing this job yes. of, uh, of uh, the tax force. It is, it, there are several stakeholders. 
led by the chairman of the Green Belt Movement, yes. you know, a very serious organization and other key stakeholders, who will be able to go down there and be able to look at all the issues mm -hmm. which, which really affect uh, the matters to do with the environment. One of the issues that we've been receiving is that lack of coordination between KWS and KFS and internal wrangles there. And so also there's been a double allotment by the, by the government, I should say, because something like Simba Hills was allocated under KWS and then under KFS. So you then see, you see, that wrangle. Th those are some of the issues which uh, we have really been talking about because we have so many players, yeah. government players in the particular sector. We have KWS, we have uh, KFS, yeah. we have Kenya Water Towers, we have the ministry itself. And that's why we are saying for sake of proper coordination in terms of matters to do with the environmental conservation, these issues need really to be coordinated mm -hmm. by one particular body. And this particular body need really to be uh, enforced by an act of parliament. Mm -hmm. We know the issues of Mauta, uh, Mau, 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 Mau Forest, yeah. whatever happened there. And it is out of a particular time when this tax force was formed mm -hmm. And it's out of this particular tax force which came up with uh, the current Kenya Water Towers. But Kenya Water Towers was created out of uh, an executive order. It's not anchored in the law. So, uh, an executive order can, can come up a new one and it is abolished. That's why you are saying uh, we are really looking forward for very favorable or very proactive uh, uh, recommendations by the tax force which are going to anchor the issues of conservation in the law. Yes. But the critical thing is coordination. Yeah because of the several uh, ministries which are involved, several players, we strongly feel as parliamentarians the proper coordination to be under the presidency. And actually it is exciting because now the, the person who is really championing these issues of conservation is none other than the deputy president, William Samoy Alapruto. Yeah. Because we need finances, we need uh, proper coordination, and we strongly believe it, this thing can be properly be done if it is anchored. The How do you intend to turn the tables? Because many people are saying it's too little, too late. We're already heading towards, we're seeing drought. The next thing we're seeing is floods, and then we're back to droughts again. Well, uh, from where we sit, it's not too late. Yeah. The most important thing is the goodwill. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that uh, currently, this particular exercise has tremendous goodwill mm -hmm. from across the board, from the executive to parliamentarians yeah. to all the county governments. There have been no you and Clay across the board in terms of uh, the environmental degradation. And then since now there is serious goodwill across the country, yeah. we expect that uh, things will really work. Secondly, uh, we really need to appreciate that uh, there is no politics in this thing. You know, politics can be able to come in and play it, and then we completely lose the game. Mm -hmm. But I we, we believe that it is not too late. We are having on the onset of the rains. And with the onset of the rains, maybe Kenyans now may, st may start thinking that we have won the game. But this is the starting of the exercise. And from uh, tomorrow, we, the tax force will be launched by the deputy president. Uh, within the course of the week, a uh, massive tree planting exercise will also be launched by the current uh, CS, Kajia Kotobiko, which will be rolled out across the entire country. But beside the government embarking on tree planting exercise, it is the responsibility of each and every Kenyan to ensure in your own homestead, if you own a quarter an acre, ensure that a tenth of that particular part of land is planted trees. Beside government, it's a personal responsibility to every Kenyan yeah. to ensure that we are able to conserve our environment. And that is where the main concern is, how much are you involving the people? Because somewhere like Chepalungu Forest, for example, there was a bit of a push and pull between the people and the government because they felt like they were being sidelined when it came to the time for harvesting the trees. How much are we sensitizing people and involving them, knowing that this is actually something beneficial to the people themselves? Actually, the reason why this uh, tax force has been, uh, have been formed yeah. is to ensure some of all the weak areas are properly undressed. And once we get the recommendations of the tax force, yeah. I want to assure Kenya that uh, these, uh, the, the report will really be implemented to ensure that uh, the forest resource mm -hmm. benefit all Kenyans. Because we have been new and clay, that look at the people harvesting trees in a particular area does not even belong to, the, to that particular area. Yeah. They are not the people who are even responsible for, for, for restorations of forest. Because you can see communities who have really sacrificed a lot mm -hmm. in terms of tree planting, but at the end of the day, they just see strangers yeah. coming to harvest their own forest. Mm -hmm. So we want to have an integrated approach in the way we are managing our, our water towers yeah. and uh, our forest resource. Because as a country, we are, we are, we are, we are finding ourselves between a hard place and a lock. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, need, we need timber, okay? Uh, for us to really be able to ensure that uh, 
the, some of the four pillars yeah. of Jubilee government, namely housing. Of course, when we're trying to lower the issues of housing, we require timber. But we need to have a responsible way of harvesting our trees. Mm. You know, we need to see the rate at which we are restoring trees is far much more yeah. than what is really being harvested. Because there have been issues about, uh, okay, this is illegal, we are licensed, we have the permit. Yeah. But you know, some of the, some, some of these sawmillers were going beyond their permit, what was permitted to them, yeah. and were harvesting beyond what was, what was actually uh, given to them. Okay, so generally the task force is supposed to come up with a report in the next 90 days, and you're assuring Kenyans that that will be implemented. The task force actually have been given less than two weeks. Okay. First of all, to go out there and study. Okay. But the moratorium has been placed for exactly 90 days. Okay. Okay? To ensure that the way things stand, mm -hmm. there is no one who is supposed to harvest trees. There is supposed to be no logging, be it in government uh, forest, be it in these plantations, be it in even community forest. Mm -hmm. okay? So that from there now we can have a thorough uh, audit. Once the audit report has been, uh, has been, uh, has been established, yeah. Then from there now we can be able to go to the next level of implementation. Okay. And what I want to assure Kenyans as parliamentarians is that this tax force report won't be solved in government itself. Okay. Okay? Yeah. It will be implemented to the letter. All right. And we are going to ensure that in case they talk about we are restoring this, this number of acres uh, of trees, it will be the responsibility of parliament as oversight body yeah. to ensure that this thing has been done. Okay. If they need any resources in terms right. of budget, it is our responsibility to also be able to push the executive yeah. to ensure that KFS and all the other players are really being given adequate resources. Okay. And finally, are we giving alternatives to the people? For example, when charcoal is burnt and you're saying that we need the timbers to, uh, to build houses, what alternatives are we looking at going forward? You, you, you see the most important thing, once we're able to fix the current challenges which we're having, yeah. okay? And we have green energy. That, that, that's, the, that's the way to go because we really need to move out from where you used to, the way you used to operate yeah. in, the, in the wooden days. Mm -hmm. You know, timber is critical, you know, but if at all we have more than adequate uh, percentage of forest cover, mm -hmm. then, then we can go ahead and be able to harvest part of it. Okay. But if at all we are operating below par, mm -hmm. then definitely we will have a challenge. The other, the other big issue yeah. is that uh, the issues of mau. Okay. Okay, and what we are talking about because there have been a lot of politicization. Mm -hmm. Whatever exercise which the government need to come up with, they need to come up with a very humane way okay. of handling the situation. All right. You have seen uh, European Union giving government yeah. three point six billion, but the way the issues of uh, of removing uh, people who have settled in Mount Terragon and Cherangani yeah. have been done, the, 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 the EU withdrew okay. the, the, the funding. All right. So once this thing is properly managed. Then at the end of the day, it will be a win-win situation for right. everybody. Thank you, Sagwana. Thank you for your time, Honorable Karek. Thank you. He was also the chairperson of the Environment Committee and also the member.